So does job interview coaching actually work or is it unfair to other candidates? So this video I'm going to touch upon some of the more interesting pieces of information related to this. And um, first let me uh, make something clear that actually it's, uh, it was somewhat news as well to me. Um, companies have started to more and more implement programs where people that get uh, past a certain stage, such as they get accepted for the onsite interview, get one hour of free coaching from the, their prospective employer. I mean, they, they won't call it, call it this way, but they will call it a one hour clarification with some point of contact from that company. And um, I've even heard recently of, uh, of uh, Amazon having uh, a weekly, uh, more like automated uh, type of call with all people that got accepted to, to, to the loop, in, in which there's both uh, content that playing in a loop, I would, I would assume, and in which they, you could also ask them questions. Basically, what happens here is that um, for super senior roles, um, companies do offer coaching, job interview coaching themselves. But for, uh, for, uh, for, for volume hiring, this is not a feasible approach, or at least they are trying to make it more feasible by uh, uh, implementing such programs where you could dial in and ask your questions or listen to information that they want to give. So. There's nothing new in job interview coaching. The scale is the only new thing here. Now, is it unfair to, to hire a job interview coach to prepare for your interview? And uh, obviously the, the reactive approach would be, yes, of course it's unfair. I mean, you get someone to help you prepare and uh, maybe that coach has some insider knowledge. Like, okay, I have millions of uh, viewers on this YouTube channel. And as you know, most of my viewers are interested in Amazon jobs. So I might have insider knowledge. So um, which it's inevitable that I do have some more knowledge that someone just getting started with applying for Amazon. But uh, interestingly enough, my experience has shown that uh, this is the worst possible predictor of success in a job interview. And uh, actually the people that uh, um, the people who, which I coached that were the most interested in insider knowledge with respect to the Amazon interview uh, never got hired there. Like I cannot remember of one person that was super curious about the internals of the hiring strategy, how they designed the process and so on and so forth. I cannot remember a person that got hired this way. So it's, it's this simple. So it, it doesn't make a difference whether your coach has an insider knowledge or doesn't on the interview process for a company, for a high performing company, I'm talking here. The second, uh, the second uh, reason why you might think this is unfair is because a coach might have access to some uh, questions that might get asked during a job interview, which in all fairness, I mean, all companies have more or less sets of questions that they prefer using. But uh, again, and to my surprise as well, um, giving people questions that are more like mo the most likely questions to get asked in job interviews as a list is not at all an indication of that person getting hired. So to put it straightforward, like I did for the previous point, if you hire me and I give you the list with the most commonly asked questions for your role, you will more likely get not get hired than get hired. So this was my experience that the people that focused on those lists and obsessed on those lists with the most commonly asked questions, um, it, 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 there weren't any results there. So, um, so just to wrap up this, is it unfair to hire a job interview coach? I don't think so. I don't think you should put it this way that by giving insider info to a candidate, you optimize their chances to get hired at that given company. I don't think it works this way. And I'm pretty confident that it doesn't work this way because I coached over a hundred people. Uh, I coached over a hundred people since I started coaching this year. So I coached many other people in the past, but still I coach many people and this is not an indicator. So it's, I don't think it's unfair, honestly. Now, number, point number two here, uh, I want to talk about uh, some myths, some myths that, uh, um, float around about uh, job interview coaching. And the first one is uh, 
there are coaching uh, coaches who say, especially for the Amazon interview that we touch upon this one again, they have 100% higher rate if you purchase their whatever their package sells. Like, uh, I mean, I, I hope it's it's clear that I, I <laughs> that's a hoax, people. So it does it never works this way. So no one hires with 100% hiring rates for any company, not Amazon and all stuff. But uh, be very skeptical whenever you hear a metric like we've achieved a certain success rate in hiring because of job interview coaching. It I, I don't believe it's a relevant metric at all. Although it's a good one for uh, for marketing purposes, but from here to say 100% success rate, oh my god! <laughs> so don't don't buy into these things. The second thing, so the second myths that uh, I've seen on the internet is that it might make sense to get a job interview coach. That in the case you're an international applicant and you have problems, uh, language problems that might prevent you to communicate efficiently during a job interview. So my experience has shown that it's actually vice versa. Actually, if you don't speak English fluently, what you'll end up doing here is that you'll win more time because they will spot that you cannot think, speak English fluently, so you'll get more time to think about what to say. So if you get more time to think about what you say, your answers could inevitably, inevitably be a lot better. So uh, the language barrier uh, is, not, is not a factor for which you'd want to get coaching at all. And uh, I've 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 helped uh, people with serious language barriers, as you, as you might see in some uh, some com comments of uh, of some videos. The people that cannot really speak English well at all, they successfully get hired and they are very successful in their jobs. Um, and it wasn't because they were they booked me as a coach to improve their language skills. Not at all. It doesn't work this way. So this being said, now, uh, finally, where, where is coaching useful? So where do you think it's the most useful? Because my experience has shown that um, this coaching is uh, the most useful when you want to, someone to practice, to role play your answers. So it, it's... To put it as simple as, as this, many people underestimate the importance of practicing answers to behavioral questions. This is where it gets interesting. When you get someone to provide you with genuine feedback, hey, how does this sound? And uh, I look at this as an accelerator. So this is an accelerator to your preparation. I'm not saying you wouldn't be able to get the job without a job interview coach, not by far. I think that the role of a coach is to accelerate your practice and to focus you better, to become a better version of yourself. I think it's, it's this simple. And uh, the other argument, the other point where a job interview coach might be useful is that they might help you with your strategy to prepare for the interview. So besides role playing, I believe the strategy to prepare for the interview is a lot better. And in some cases, I, uh, a coach can better synthesize the information that you must prepare than you would otherwise yourself. So maybe you don't have two days to um, look over all the internet to find what could be the best preparation scenario for yourself, or maybe you didn't find it on on your company's uh, jobs website. So that's where a coach can clarify things on how, what's the best approach to prepare. And uh, finally, the third point when I, what, I believe, what I believe coaching does make actually a difference is, is it helps to build resilience and it helps, to, it helps you to build confidence in yourself. Because you see, when you role play with someone, with your brother, sister, sister wife, or anyway, significant other, it's, you might say, okay, I, I role play with this person, but I'm, I'm not sure to what extent my answers are that good. So there might be also some confirmation bias there. So by having someone, a coach, right? By the simple fact that you call that person a coach, you, you somewhat gain confidence and you get rid, uh, and you clarify whether that's a confirmation bias or not for the types of answer that you're giving. So it's really that simple. So uh, the best, the best uh, results I've I've seen in my cases was simply because of the role play. So it, it's as simple as that. 
Interview coaching is role play. So there's really nothing more than this. I wouldn't. I would very much discourage you to go search questions, uh, possible questions, or even to buy sets of questions or stuff like this. And I would be very skeptical going into any other uh, types of products that do not focus on coaching as a primary thing. And there are many training programs for uh, for these things, which might work for some and might not uh, might work better for others but uh, at least my experience has shown that role play is by far the most efficient um, efficient employment of uh, of a job interview coach so um, there you go this was uh, my two cents about uh, job interview coaches and uh, if you want to support this channel please feel free to to share your interview outcomes in the comment sections of these videos and uh, as always thank you very much for watching